Hey, what you reading? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I startle you? Well, you were too absorbed in what you were reading. Yeah. You really should be paying attention to other things. Like me. Oh, come on. You can't study all day. Although this does look interesting. The vellum is so yellow. Where did you get this? Come on. Don't be so secretive. I know you too well for you to lie to me. Why are you covering the spine with your thumb? Nope, just move it. <gasps> it's from the restricted section. Ooh. Oh, you've been naughty, haven't you? How did you get it? No, tell me, tell me. Oh, come on. After all, we share a dorm room together. We can share a few secrets. I sound like a demon. You take that back. Sliding the book away won't help. I can see the title. Well, I am right over your shoulder, talking into your skull, like I know you enjoy. Enchanted Guardians, Warding Against the Abyssal Tempest, First Edition. Just say no to demons. <laughs> Yeah, this is what you're doing. No. Then what are you doing, dear dorm mate? Trying to unravel the mysteries of the demonic planes without succumbing to evil. Oh, is that all? <laughs> Oh, come on. You and I both know it's not as easy as just saying no. Demons are beautiful. They'll offer you anything you've ever wanted. I'm not saying you're weak. I'm saying it's hard. The kind of thing you can't really learn from a book. That's why we study for years. Don't be ignorant. We heard about this last week. You have to remember. The professor told us all about that student who idolized the demon she summoned in secret. Well, if you don't remember, I'm not going to tell you how it ends. Well, she wasn't you, and you're better. Don't you think that line of thinking is a little too easy? Oh, I need to get off your back. Literally. Sure, push your chair back a bit. Mmm, there we go. I'd rather be in your lap anyway. Then I can walk my fingers up your shoulder. And I can talk from ear to ear, 
just like I was doing before. Oh, baby, am I distracting? Am I keeping you from unraveling the mysteries of the demonic planes? Oh, so push me off if you want me gone. Putting your arm around me is the opposite of that. Hey, I'm not complaining. Oh no, I haven't let it go. I know I'm right. I am making my point. You just can't see it yet. I really am sorry for distracting you. I care about you too much to let you be this arrogant about something so dangerous. Well, you're going to have to deal with it, won't you? Why do I care? Because you've won my respect. Yes, you did years ago. Did I ever tell you I requested you as my dorm mate? I truly did. I can show you the paperwork later. You're not ready to encounter a demon, I'm sorry. No one is until their fourth year. You're special, but... Not special enough to risk your well-being like that. Hey, I know that look. Yeah, you're thoughtful, racking your brain about something. What did you do years ago to make me admire you? Oh, I've been waiting to tell this story. You know Stephen, right? That's right. He dropped all of his books right before the carriage came to take him home for winter break. He had so many of them. He was a stranger to you, but you treated him like a friend, asking him what he was going to do over break. Oh, you don't think it was a big deal? I think it was. Did you ever wonder why he had every book he owned with him? Think about it. Why would he clear out his bookshelf if he knew he was coming back after break? I can see you're starting to figure it out. Stephen is my cousin. He told me later that he was in a very bad place. And your simple kindness and interest that day helped him a lot helped him realize that things aren't always so bad. They can get better. You never know what's going to happen tomorrow. Like I said, I've been waiting to tell you that story. And aren't we cozy now? With me in your lap? Being vulnerable about the past. And me telling you what you mean to me. Aw, I'm glad you're happy too. I wish I could stay here forever. But I really have to get to work on my astronomy homework. 
You're lucky it's so easy for you. <laughs> Aw, you're so sweet. I don't suppose you could help me out by letting me look over your assignment? I saw you finished it today. It would be such a big help. Oh, you will? Thank you for proving my point. Oh, really? You can't say no to a demon. You can't even say no to me. Oh, don't sulk just because I made my point. Plagiarism is no joke. Is Stephen really my cousin? No, I have no idea why he had all those books. I know he's a big reader. It was for an example. You don't have to tell him. I mean, it was nice of you, and I did see it. Here, since you say I sound like a demon, we'll make a trade. I'll give you a kiss on your precious little cheek, and you give me that book from the restricted section. Do we have a deal? Good. Thank you. I just want you to be safe. You mean too much to me. When the time comes to unravel mysteries, let's go together. We're stronger that way. Good. It's a date. 